Hi, hello friends. Welcome to Pulse Excel. So today in this video lecture, I'm going to talk about paper chromatography concept from analytical chemistry. But before start with this actually paper chromatography concept, first of all, you should know the exact meaning of the chromatography. And then later on, we'll start with the our main topic of the today's session is the paper chromatography. So we all are aware about the chromatography word is nothing but the it is a, a very famous separation method. So it is a one kind of the physical method of separation where your components of the mixture are separated by using the support due to the differential actually movement of your continuous distribution between the stationary and the mobile phase. So that is nothing but the what your chromatography method. So now further this actually separation method is divided into mainly two parts. So one is a gas chromatography and another one will be the what your student liquid chromatography, depending upon their nature of the mobile or the stationary phases. But further the paper chromatography now which we are going to discuss, this is actually part of what your liquid chromatography, it is considered as a planar part of the chromatography technique. And along with that, now we'll begin with the session that what is a paper chromatography means. So actually, first of all, to understand the overall paper chromatography concept here, you should understand the three major key points on which your entire topic is dependent. So first here, you need to understand clearly the importance of the paper in paper chromatography means konsa paper hum log pe exactly use karne wale. Secondly, you need to understand the solvent used for the separation. So what are the role of the solvent and nature of the solvent? So these are the property you need to clearly understand for the separation process. And third one will be you need to clearly understand the sample means which sample you need to use for the separation process means your desire analyze. So with these three important key points, now we'll start with the first principle or the introduction part of the what your student paper chromatography. So the first time the paper chromatography technique actually introduced by the German actually scientist Christian Friedrich Scoben in actually 1865. And later on, actually, this technique is very famous in the so many application part of the analytical chemistry, like this technique we use for the isolation identification, quantification, or quantitation of the unknown substances. So such kind of the, actually so many techniques and so many applications for that we use the paper chromatography technique. Then later on, it is actually also used in the analysis of your organic and the inorganic compound. So this is how this actually paper chromatography is really very important. So this is actually student one type of the partition chromatography we can call it as a, because partition Q, because we have actually two phase use karte hai. One is the mobile and second one will be the stationary phase. So what is now your mobile and the stationary phase that you can see into the next slide. So this is actually your one type of the word partition chromatography in which your substance are distributed between the two liquid. So stationary liquid, which is held in the fiber of the paper and the moving liquid. So stationary liquid is called as the stationary phase and the moving liquid it is actually named as a, over here the mobile phase or the developing solvent. So either you can choose any one mobile phase or the developing solvent name. Okay. So now the next importance that why you need to study the paper chromatography is the importance. Kai. So at the end of the day, what are the importance of this technique? So very first is the if you wanted to find out the food adulteration data. So agar isme se mujhe kuch elements ko find out karna hai ya usme se agar mujhe kuch elements ko separate out karna hai that which kind of the impurity present in our food. So humme paper chromatography that is actually more accessible technique that you can use for the food adulteration. Second, agar humme cosmetics me kuch elements ko find out karna hai ya fir usme bhi humme kuch agar separation karna hai kisi elements ko dekhna hai, find out karna hai, purification karna hai, characterization karna hai, to bhi humlo ya pe paper chromatography ko use karte. Then the most important application in the field of the forensic. Forensics may hamare jo bhi bloods hote hai, jo hamare clients simply jo hume material milta, agar uska hume data check karna hai, 
तो भी हम लोग यहाँ पे पेपर क्रोमेटोग्राफी टेक्निक को यूज करते देन लेटर ऑन द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट टॉपिक इज फार्मास्यूटिकल ड्रग्स टैबलेट्स इन दैट टेक्निक ऑल्सो वी गो विद पेपर क्रोमेटोग्राफी एंड देन फाइनली यू नीड टू क्लियरली अंडरस्टैंड अगर आपको यहाँ पे कोई भी केमिकल रिएक्शन हो जो कि आप कैरीड आउट करते हो उस केमिकल रिएक्शन के बारे में अगर आपको जानना है वेदर द केमिकल रिएक्शन इज कंप्लीट और नॉट सो फॉर दैट पर्पज ऑल्सो यू कैन यूज ओवर योर स्टूडेंट वॉट पेपर क्रोमेटोग्राफी टेक्निक सो एक्चुअली टू स्टडी द स्ट्रक्चर like various compounds or the amino acid compositions of the protein also you can go with the paper chromatography so this is how with the to a limited extent it can be used as a preparatory method in the various field like the metal ions in the unknown solution of the geological specimens in that also you just use a paper chromatography so this is how this paper chromatography technique is student really important that's why you need to study the this part of the paper chromatography okay so now let us uh, we start with the now our major core part of the paper chromatography is the three major key point which i already discussed over here that you need to clearly understand first of all what is a paper so uh, paper is actually main component of the what your पेपर क्रोमेटोग्राफी चैप्टर जिसे हम लोग यहाँ पे जनरली फिल्टर पेपर भी बोलते हैं सो यूर फॉर दिस एक्चुअली पेपर क्रोमेटोग्राफी यू आर यूजिंग द वराइटी ऑफ पेपर सो वी दो पेपर सो यू कैन सी so the very first part the whatever paper or variety of paper we use for the separation purpose that is actually acts as the over here the stationary phase ठीक है सेकेंड इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है पेपर में द वट एवर द पेपर यू यूटिलाइज फॉर द सेपरेशन इन दैट नाइनटी एट टू नाइन परसेंटेज ऑफ अल्फा सेल्यूलर इज गोइंग टू बी प्रेजेंट नेक्स्ट द फिल्टर पेपर विच वी यूज द नेम इज अ वॉटमन फिल्टर पेपर अलॉन्ग विद वेरियस ग्रेड नंबर लाइक वन टू थ्री फोर ट्वेंटी और फोर्टी टू दिस काइंड ऑफ द वॉटमन फिल्टर पेपर वी कैन यूज फॉर द पेपर क्रोमेटोग्राफी एंड देन लेटर ऑन अदर जो पेपर होते अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस एक्चुअली वॉटमन फिल्टर पेपर वी कैन यूज ऑल्सो द मोडिफाइड फिल्टर पेपर हाइड्रोफिलिक पेपर एंड द हाइड्रोपोबिक पेपर सो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द वॉट काइंड ऑफ द सैम्पल यू नीड टू सेपरेट आउट डिपेंडिंग ऑन दैट यू चूज योर पेपर कि हमें कौन सा पेपर यहाँ पे यूज करना है ठीक है तो जनरली यहाँ पे हम लोग जब अगर बात करते हैं यूजुअली वॉटमन फिल्टर पेपर नंबर अगर वन हम लोगों ने यहाँ पे चूज किया है ठीक है सो इट इज यूज बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स एक्चुअली यूनिफॉर्म फ्लोरेट अपार्ट फ्रॉम द ग्रेन साइज एंड इट्स अ टेक्चर सो इन सम केसेस द पेपर्स आर एसिड वॉश टू रिमूव द ट्रेसेस ऑफ इम्प्यूरिटीज विच मे अफेक्ट यूर सर्टन एनालिसिस ठीक है देन अगेन द पेपर ओके दैट इज गोइंग टू बी you need to select it uh, uh their different running character like they has to be very slow medium fast in all the kinds they are going to be available so over here in aqueous atmosphere the cellulose fiber of the paper absorb water and hold it strongly so that's why we choose actually this kind of the paper for the separation so i hope so you should completely understand now what kind of the paper you need to use तो ये हमारे कुछ वेरी ग्रेड्स है वॉटमा फिल्टर पेपर के तो यू कैन सी वेरी इजिली दैट वॉट इज द नंबर द फिफ्टी टू फिफ्टी फोर देन फोर्टी वन फोर्टी फोर लाइक दैट सो ना आफ्टर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द रोल ऑफ द पेपर इन द पेपर क्रोमेटोग्राफी लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट द सॉल्वेंट नाउ द सॉल्वेंट एक्चुअली इज जनरली प्रिपेयर्ड बाय सैचुरेटिंग योर ऑर्गेनिक सॉल्वेंट विद द वॉटर generally we can call it as a solvent over here in this particular system so now solvent here generally acts as a mobile phase to jaise maine bula tha ye oral jo technique hai hamare partition chromatography jo do phase mein divide hai one is stationary and another one will be the what your student mobile phase jisme hamara jo solvent hai that acts as a over here mobile phase ठीक है, बट एक्चुअली सेवरल ऑर्गेनिक जो लिक्विड्स होते हैं दैट इनकार्पोरेट ओनली स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर सो दे फोर वॉट विल एपन द पोलर कंपोनेंट जो होते हैं अब हमारे मिक्सर्स के दैट आर फेल टू सेपरेट इन सर्च बाइनरी सिस्टम सो इन सर्च केसेस थर्ड लिक्विड लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल एच सी एल एसिटोन फॉर्मिक एसिड जनरली और द बेस लाइक अमोनिया और पीरिडीम और एनी कॉम्प्लेक्सिंग एजेंट इज ऑफन इंक्लूडेड इन दिस एक्चुअली सॉल्वेंट सिस्टम दैट यू नीड टू क्लियरली अंडरस्टैंड सो द 
further in the solvent what kind of solvent we use the polar solvent and some of the time we use the buffer solution and second the types of the solvent in that we also go with the hydrophilic solvent like binary mixtures so propanol ammonia water then methanol water so these are the combination of the your binary mixture that you can use methanol glacial acetic acid and the water then later on the one more type of the solvent is the hydrophobic solvent so it depending upon again the what your sample has to be separate up. so hydrophobic solvent you can consider here again the diethyl ether and the cyclohexane and isopropanol and the kerosene so these are the student actually so many different types of the solvent you can use for the separation so generally actually three component solvents are going to be prepared which i already mentioned over here like in the hydrophilic propanol ammonia and the water so it's depend so the some important solvent system used for the developing chromatogram uh yeah depend hoga again jaisi maine bola ki आपका यहाँ पे एप्लीकेशन है क्या है सपोज फॉर एग्जांपल मान लीजिए इफ यू नीड टू सेपरेट आउट ओवर हियर द अमाइनो एसिड सो फॉर द अमाइनो एसिड अगेन यू नीड टू यूज सॉल्वेंट लाइक हियर यू कैन यूज अ बिटोनॉल पीरिडिन एंड द वाटर एंड द स्प्रेइंग रिएजेंट जो हम लोग यहाँ पे यूज करते फॉर दिस कॉम्बिनेशन इज अन हाइब्रिड सपोज यू वॉन्ट टू सेपरेट आउट द मेटल आइन्स फॉर द मेटल आइन्स यू जनरली गो विद द ओनली द बाइनरी मिक्सचर लाइक इथेनॉल एंड द Your hydrochloric acid 90 to 10 इसका रेशियो होता है और इसके लिए हम लोग स्प्रेंग जो रिएजेंट होता है वो यूज करते हैं रूबेनिक एसिड और द अमोनियम सो दिस इज हाउ डिपेंडिंग अपॉन वेदर यू हाउ सेपरेट आउट अमाइनो एसिड मेटल आइंस वॉट actually sample you need to separate out you will go with the solvent part now after understanding both the stationary and the mobile phase the most important body of this paper chromatography is the methodology so here now you clearly understood that what is the actually process that you need to follow so generally this actually methodology involves the three unit operation so is may actually three major steps hote one sample loading second development and third one is the spraying but apart from that if you need to clearly understand ki paper chromatography exactly hai kya to hame yahan pe kuch five step ko properly follow karna hai in that your first step will be sample preparation to aapko yahan pe sample ko prepared karna hai secondly you need to choose proper paper सेपरेशन के लिए तो स्टेप टू है आपका यहाँ पे पेपर सिलेक्शन वेदर इट्स हाइड्रोफिलिक मोडिफाइड पेपर वाटमा फिल्टर पेपर या फिर कौन सा व्हाट आर द ग्रेड ऑफ दैट फिल्ड पेपर सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन दैट यू नीड टू गो विद द पेपर सिलेक्शन देन स्टेप थ्री यू नीड टू गो विद द सैंपल लोडिंग जनरली वी कैन कॉल्ड इट एज अ स्पॉटिंग देन नेक्स्ट आफ्टर द स्टेप फोर डेवलपिंग सो यू हैव टू डेवलप द चेम्बर एंड द लास्ट फिफ्थ वन स्टेप फाइव detection of spot location or visualization or we can see the spraying so this is how these are the with the five step you can complete your paper chromatography process so let us start with the actually from this diagram you can clearly understand so sabse pehle yahan pe aapko kya karna hota hai jaise maine earlier bola ki sample loading your first part so a reference to sabse pehle to aapne paper ko choose kar liya you decided the solvent after that you just take the one of the container or the chamber okay so in that now you just select the paper so whatever paper you are selected in that actually paper first of all you draw the reference line to yahan pe aap agar dekh rahe ho so these are the actually start line to ye aapko approximately 2 cm above from the bottom part to bottom part se aapko above 2 cm ye reference line ko yahan pe draw karna hai so the reference line at 2 cm distance from the edge of the paper is drawn and points of application are marked तो जो भी आपको सैंपल मतलब सेपरेट आउट करना है उसको आपको क्या करना है लोड करना है उसको यहाँ पे ऐसे मार्क करना है ऑन दिस रेफरेंस लाइन देन द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ मिक्सचर अंडर टेस्ट इज गोइंग टू बी टेकन टू अ फाइन कैपिलरी एंड देन दैट हैज टू बी स्पॉट और लोडेड आइदर एज अ थीन लाइन और एज अ फाइन स्पॉट तो वो फाइन जो स्पॉट होता है उसका डायमीटर जो होगा इट इज ओनली अबाउट 5 एम mm. तो आपको कैपिलरी लेना है और जो भी आपको सैंपल सेपरेट आउट करना है उसको यहाँ पे आपको क्या करना है रेफरेंस लाइन पे उसको आपको स्पॉट करना है ट्वाइस और थ्राइस बट ओनली आफ्टर ड्राइंग ईच टाइम तो पहले स्पॉट अगर आपको लग रहा है आपने प्रॉपरली नहीं किया है तो उसको ड्राई होने दीजिए फिर उस पे ऊपर आप सेकेंड और थर्ड टाइम उसको आप क्या कर सकते हो स्पॉट कर सकते हो तो ये हुआ आपका स्टेप वन लोडिंग सैंपल लोडिंग अब सेकेंड में आपको क्या करना है डेवलपिंग में द सैंपल एक्चुअली लोडेड स्ट्रिप 
तो ये जो है आपका यहाँ पे सैंपल जो लोडेड जो स्ट्रीप होता है यहाँ पे स्टूडेंट दैट इज गोइंग टू बी हैंग फॉर सम टाइम इन द क्रोमेटोग्राफिक जार तो ये जो है कंटेनर है इसे हम लोग बोलते हैं स्टूडेंट क्रोमेटोग्राफिक जार तो ये जो हमारा क्रोमेटोग्राफिक जार है इसमें आपको क्या करना है सैंपल जो भी स्ट्रीप है उसको आपको लोड करना है हैंग करना है फॉर सम टाइम सो देट वॉट विल हैपन देन आफ्टर हैंगिंग द सोल्यूशन आर गोइंग टू बी स्टार्ट टू फ्लो From bottom to top, like with the help of the capillary action. So over here, what will happen? The chromatographic jar, which is containing the solvent, but without dipping in the solvent. Okay, as earlier, uh, like uh, mentioned in this particular diagram. So this actually helps to saturate the paper with solvent vapors, and then. now the strip is developed by running the solvent through the paper depending on the direction of flow we have following the types to jaise ki aapko yahan pe ab ye jo flowing type hai iske upar aapke again paper chromatography ke bahut sare types hote hain whether it's ascending whether it's a descending chromatography circular chromatography anything to uske bahut sare aage jaake aapke types hai बट नाउ स्टिल हम लोग जो क्रोमेटोग्राफी स्टडी करें इट इज एक्चुअली पार्ट ऑफ योर असेंडिंग क्रोमेटोग्राफी तो इसको फिर आपको डीप करना है जैसे आपने पेपर को यहाँ पे इस सॉल्वेंट में डीप किया देन लेटर ऑन अवर प्रोसेस इज एक्सैक्टली स्टार्ट एंड नाउ you can see properly and one more point here you should clearly understand whenever you are going to be deep this strip into the chromatography jar ये जो रेफरेंस लाइन है इट शुड नॉट टच टू द सॉल्वेंट लेवल ओके okay, तो ये जो लाइन है ये हमेशा आपके सॉल्वेंट जो भी आपका लेवल होगा उसके ऊपर ही होना चाहिए अदरवाइज व्हाट विल हैपन इफ यू आर गोइंग टू बी मर्ज दिस रेफरेंस लाइन इनटू दिस पर्टिकुलर सॉल्वेंट तो जो भी आपने स्पॉट किया है सेपरेशन के लिए जो भी आपने मिक्सर लिया हुआ है दैट इज गोइंग टू कम्प्लीटली डिजोल्व इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सॉल्वेंट सो यू शुड प्रॉपरली टेक केयर की आपका जो रेफरेंस लाइन जो आपने जहाँ पे आपने स्पॉट किया हुआ है वो लाइन आपके सॉल्वेंट सर्फेस के एग्जैक्टली ऊपर ही होगा ठीक है इट शुड नॉट बी टच टू दी दिस एक्चुअली सॉल्वेंट लेवल देन यूर एक्सैक्टली प्रोसेस इज गोइंग टू बी स्टार्ट एंड आफ्टर सर्टन टाइम वेन दिस एक्चुअली सॉल्वेंट रन फ्रॉम बॉटम टू टॉप एंड रीच अप टू हियर देन यू शुड स्टॉप द प्रोसेस एंड इमीजिएटली रिमूव दिस वॉट filter paper from this chromatographic jar and now you can mark out over here so you can see the so many bands over here you will get the first second third and the fourth one so this is how now you can separate out all these points or all these dots along with their rf value ab yahan pe rf value what is going to be exactly that a value so this is actually nothing but the student the distance which is actually move by the solute in the direction of solvent flow during the chromatographic separation generally which can characterized by the rf rf ka matlab hota hai yahan pe student rate of flow theek hai ab yahan pe jaise ki aapne dekha jaise aapne ye plate se chromatography jar se ye plate nikala jo bhi aapne filter paper liya tha usko aapko fir kya karna hai for the visualization ki ye jo color aapko yahan pe band jo dikhai de how they are visualized for that you just go with another third spray part of this process is the spraying so when your solvent actually moves a required distance whatever the paper is going to be removed then it has to be dried and then after dried that has to be spray with the suitable reagent agar aapne yahan pe amino acid liya hai to neem hydrogen reagent lena hai aapko agar aapne carbohydrate use kiya hai to aapko yahan pe aniline ya fir diphenyl amine aap use kar sakte ho ya fir agar aap cartonides ko yahan pe separate out kar rahe ho to self indicator jo bhi hota hai wo hai aapko aap use kar sakte ho so this is how you can just now spray this actually filled up paper along with the spraying reagent and then you can visualize the such kind of the over here what student spot so you can see now how these spots are going to be run with the capillary action from bottom to top so this is how you can now visualize the spot with the help of the spraying reagent theek hai so i hope so now entire methodology you can understand very well now these are actually one of the animated video from this video you clearly understand All the actually methodology and process. So, जैसे मैंने आपको बताया था very initially, आपको ये mark the reference line. After that, what you should take capillary, then deep into the your mixture, sample mixture, then spot on the your reference line. Again, after drying this point, 
take the second time again you have to load the sample on the same point same spot then later on you just take the solvent which you required for the separation add into the chromatographic jar just chamber saturate after saturate the chamber just hang the your what filter paper into this solvent and then just after a few time you just wait for the running process of your solvent through the filter paper then remove this filter paper after a certain time then you can just mark out this different kind of the your what separation of the mixture so here you can see how these actually beautiful colors full spot you will get with the spraying reagent now how you can calculate this actually rate of flow with the reference value so now you can see here the rf value here which we can calculate for this particular separation which is nothing but the student what distance traveled by the compound and the distance traveled by the solvent so this is how you can calculate the overall rf value so from this rf value of the components you can be determine the so many chromatograph so the importance factors for this actually rf value is the quality and dimension of the paper used temperature of the environment size of the vessel in which chromatogram is developed and finally the solvent system used for the development it's a flow rate and the direction of the flow so search of the factors which definitely affect the your rf value so after understanding these actually rate of flow that how you are going to be calculate that value the next part which is the depending upon the mechanism paper chromatography further divided into mainly these are the five points in that your first part is the ascending so just now whatever i am discuss that is a part of the ascending chromatography second is descending chromatography next one is the ascending and the descending chromatography then later on fourth type is a radial actually chromatography and the last one is the student two dimensional chromatography now here you can see that what is the importance of the ascending wo to humne abhi study kiya na we just talk about the your descending paper chromatography means what so these are the actually student diagram of the what your student descending paper chromatography the mechanism is going to be simple but only the thing that is going to be change the chromatographic jar as such we use but the position of the solvent that is going to be change to so, ascending mein hum log kya karte the jo bhi hamara developing jo solvent tha that developing solvent is present at the bottom but whereas in the descending paper chromatography student the is developing solvent will be present at the top of the chromatographic jar so here the solvent actually is allowed to travel down the paper to yahan pe jo solvent ka jo flow hai jo run hai wo kaha par hai down the paper hai so this is actually exactly opposite of your ascending paper chromatography so the mobile phase is kept in trough located at the top of the actually chromatographic chamber and it is allowed to descend over the chromatography paper so this is called what your student descending paper chromatography so this is the your tank cover this is the actually paper support then this is the spot of the test sample which you wanted to separate out this is actually filet paper which we can use and these are the chromatographic tank means chromatography chamber so this is what are all about that, that how you are going to be separate out the components by using the descending paper chromatography देन नेक्स्ट यहाँ पे आपका जो है पॉइंट वो है थर्ड टाइप यहाँ पे डिपेंडिंग ऑन द मेकानिज्म ascending and the descending paper chromatography now in this actually ascending and the descending paper chromatography it is actually hybrid technique of the what your all the previous technique jisme hum log ascending ke bare mein baat karenge descending ke bare mein baat karenge that's why is technique ko hum log yahan pe hybrid technique bolte hain so the here the upper actually portion this ओके सो अपर एक्चुअली पोर्शन जो यहाँ पर है दैट इज एक्चुअली असेंडिंग क्रोमेटोग्राफिक शीट इज एक्सैक्टली फोल्डेड ऑन अ रॉड तो यहाँ पे ये जो रॉड है इसके ऊपर हम लोग उसको फोल्ड करते हैं वाइल अलाउिंग द डिसेंट ऑफ पेपर आफ्टर After crossing the rod, तो इसको cross करके फिर paper ये यहाँ पे आएगा तो ये यहाँ पे up होगा और यहाँ पे क्या होगा वो down होगा So this is how with the actually flow of the your what solvent you can choose the word ascending and the descending 
what your chromatography technique now after understanding the third type the fourth type over here is the student what next is the circular chromatography or we can say it's a radial paper chromatography now what is the beauty of this actually radial paper chromatography is it is actually totally different from your earlier paper chromatography part so here we are not going to use any rectangular or any kind of the paper sheet here we use the circular paper sheet that's why this chromatography technique is known as what your circular paper chromatography so here circular actually filter paper we use that is going to take on and then sample is applied at the center of the paper so here you can see these dot so here we have center mein exactly sample ko kya karte apply karte and then after drying this particular spot of the filter paper is tie horizontally on shallow chamber so these are the actually chamber body you can see from the bottom so uske upar hum log usko kya karte tie karte horizontally on shallow chamber which containing the solvent jiske andar ye jo blue color aap dekh rahe hain ye pura solvent hai theek hai then a wick of the paper is deep inside the solvent and then the solvent rises through the wick and the components get separated in the form of concentric circular zone and then with this actually wick okay ये जो है यहाँ पे सेंटर में विद विद दिस एक्चुअली योर सॉल्वेंट इज गोइंग टू बी कंप्लीटली फ्लो थ्रू आउट इन टू द कॉन्सेंट्रेटिक सर्क्यूलर जोन एंड यू कैन सेपरेट आउट योर ऑल द कंपोनेंट वेरी इजीली बाई यूजिंग द रेडियल पेपर प्रोमेटोग्राफी टेक्निक एंड देन लास्ट actually technique which you can understand that is nothing but the two dimensional paper chromatography now it is also again the very beautiful uh, part of this actually chromatography so in this technique a uh, actually square or we can say the rectangular paper we use as you can see on this particular slide so this is actually rectangular sheet paper sheet generally we can use now here the your sample is applied at one of the corner and development is going to be performed at right angle to the direction of the your first run so you can see here so this is how you can choose so yahan pe aapka sample ka spot hai jo ki aapne ek side mein corner pe diya hua hai and this is the actually direction of the what your solvent flow from bottom to the top to ye aapne first criteria kiya after that what will happen this actually facilitates the better separation of the components of the mixture then next time you are going to be take the sample from the another side ओके तो यहाँ पर भी आपका सैंपल का फ्लो रेट वही होगा एंड आफ्टर दैट यू आर गेटिंग सच काइंड ऑफ द एक्चुअली व्हाट वेरियस actually spot you can विजुअलाइज विज वेरी इजीली विद द हेल्प ऑफ द स्प्रेइंग रेज सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन सी टर्न पेपर एट द राइट एंगल एंड यूज अ डिफरेंट सॉल्वेंट एंड दिस इज हाउ यू कैन डर्न विद द टू डायमेंशनल पेपर क्रोमेटोग्राफी टेक्निक वेरी इजिली so this is how by using the paper chromatography various type you can separate out the so many components and let us now talk about the last part of this paper chromatography is what are the advantages of this technique so uh, we have only the two advantages that the first the method is going to be very simple it is inexpensive and very sensitive and the second advantage a variety of separation can be carried out under the ordinary laboratory condition so this is how it is a very good technique so at a time you can see simultaneously aap bahut sare components ko yahan pe separate out kar sakte ab disadvantage yahan par ye hai the time that you required for the separation that is going to be very large to yahan pe aapko bahut sara samay sample banane mein paper choose karne mein solvent banane mein solvent prepare karne mein jata hai to spot जब आप लोड करते हो सैंपल को फिर उसको ड्राई करना है फिर आपको फिर से उसके बाद स्पॉट करना है देन आफ्टर कम्पलीशन ऑफ द प्रोसेस अगेन यू हैव टू ड्राई इट दैट कम्प्लीटेड पेपर देन यू आर जस्ट सपोज टू स्प्रे दी योर रिएजन एंड देन यू कैन विजुअलाइज द सॉप सो दिस इज हाउ दिस एक्चुअली टाइम कंज्यूमिंग प्रोसेस एंड सेकेंड डिसएडवांटेज इट कैन नॉट बी यूज एज अ प्रिपरेटिव method so with these actually few advantage and disadvantages i hope so student you can clearly understand the what is actually exactly paper chromatography means but still student if you have any doubts regarding the paper chromatography technique so you can definitely ask me any question so i just supposed to be resolve your all the doubts okay so once again student thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video so don't forget to subscribe us thanks once again